Recently, the longest reigning monarch in Britain's history, Queen Elizabeth II, peacefully passed into eternity. For more than 70 years, she was the only sovereign many Britons had ever known. And while the world changed dramatically over the decades, the Queen remained steadfast and strong, an emblem of grace and goodness to her people and to the world. Like a river that moves with purpose and direction, the Queen was driven more by principle than popularity, devotion to duty, service to God and country gave her life meaning and purpose. Before her coronation, the Queen expressed the humility and dedication that made her such a great leader for so many years. I want to ask you all, she said, whatever your religion may be, to pray for me, that God may give me wisdom and strength to carry out the solemn promises I shall be making and that I may faithfully serve him and you all the days of my life. Clearly, God answered those prayers. Faithful is a good word to describe Queen Elizabeth's service. Her faith in a heavenly king guided her life and her work. She often spoke of that faith, of the Christian ideals that inspired her, and yet Queen Elizabeth's faith was evident not only in her words, but also her actions. She endeavored to serve, not just to be served. She visited the downtrodden. She lifted those who suffered and gave hope to those in despair. She explained, For me, the teachings of Christ and my own personal accountability before God provide a framework in which I try to lead my life. I, like so many of you, have drawn great comfort in difficult times from Christ's words and example. Just as Queen Elizabeth has been a constant in the lives of her people, faith has been a constant in her own life. Just a few years ago, the Queen said, the life of Jesus Christ is an inspiration and an anchor in my life a role model of reconciliation and forgiveness. He stretched out his hands in love, acceptance, and healing. Christ's example has taught me to seek to respect and value all people of whatever faith or none. To lose such a noble leader brings sorrow, but to remember her life of faith brings comfort and peace to our souls.